2023 Acura Integra A-Spec Manual. Versus Honda Civic SI Manual because these are both the same car, right Jacob? Yeah, we should probably start with the horsepower and torque. Horsepower and torque. 200 horsepower, 192 pound-feet of torque from a 1.5-liter turbo four-cylinder for both of them. Oh, so they are the same car, and then we got the same six-speed, right? Exact same six-speed manual, and we also have a limited slip differential each. So we should probably start by going through Cliche Corner and finding out if they handle differently. Into the twisties, rev match downshift. I also have the auto rev match downshift with the shift lights in the Civic. I don't have shift lights, but my digital cluster does illuminate, kind of simulating that. I mean, this feels pretty good. Yeah, Civic's holding on, keeping up with the Integra, yeah. no problem. This is great. I mean, I see you basically doing everything I'm doing in my rear view, so I think they're pretty much the same. But mine sounds a little more pumped in in the SI. Let's switch them up and see if we notice anything else. Before we do that, I have adaptive dampers in here and I actually don't notice any difference between any of the drive modes. I do have normal, comfort, and sport. Couldn't tell you which one I was in. And I have normal, sport, and individual. I was in sport there with the traction all the way off. Leather seats, power adjustable, lumbar support. Oh yeah, Integra. Just lowering my seat manually, gotta pump it. There we go, okay. Let's send it in the other car. Yuri, if I close my eyes, I couldn't actually tell you which car I was in by just the feel of this right now. I could tell because this shifter and the Integra feels different and I think a little better than the Civic. Nah, the shifter's exactly the same. Literally the same part number other than the shift knob. Yes, that is what I'm touching and how I would know. All right, downshift into second and yep, feels exactly the same. Touch of understeer, but pretty damn good. I actually feel a little faster and like I'm slipping out a little less in the Integra for some reason. Uh, maybe it's due to the tires. These are both on all seasons. However, the Integra is on Continentals. Yeah, so for handling, Integra to me has a slight edge and I'm not 100% sure why, but I like it a little bit more for driving through the twisties. I think it's 100% down to the tires because these are the same damn cars. And the recommended Continental tire for both of these, if you want to go even faster, is the Extreme Contact Sport. Can I maybe blame the difference in handling on the adjustable dampers as well? Uh, perhaps, but I just did not notice any difference realistically. Do you want to stay in that car or do you want to switch? I, I would actually prefer to stay in the Integra because I like the lumbar. All right, fine. Let's just stay in these cars. First thing I noticed in the Integra, pumped in audio. Don't really notice any. Let's see in the Civic. I don't know, it's kind of similar, maybe a touch more in here. I feel like the Civic has that like loud pumped in stuff that this does not have. Maybe it's because there's less insulation in here because that's a luxury vehicle technically. And then since this is a luxury vehicle, it must cost more, right? Uh, significantly more, but if you go to tsp.truecar.com, you get discounted price offers, and you guys have bought so many Civics through our link, it's actually the most purchased vehicle, so we would highly recommend either of these through tsp.truecar.com. Because the Integra is a Civic, right? At the end of the day? Yes, it's a very expensive Civic, and I'll let you know if that would be my choice at the end of this video. Yeah, so let's figure out what the rest of the differences are and who would be the person trying to buy an Integra over an SI. Let's start with the exterior, perhaps. Looks-wise, this Integra kind of came onto the scene a little bit controversial because it didn't look as cool as all the concepts. This one's in black, but here are a bunch of pictures from other ones so you can see more of the body lines and accents better. And I do need to point out that when Acura launched that car, they launched it in yellow with an Integra decal on the side, and then they don't offer it in yellow, which is kind of funny. Maybe they're saving it for the Type S. And before we keep going with the differences in looks, there are some differences in the availability of Honda Civics and Integras because the Integra you can only get with the SI engine and the Civic you can get with many different engines, including the new Type R engine that just got announced uh, yesterday as of filming. Personally, I think the older Gundam style Type R looks better, but you cannot get an automatic transmission with the SI motor in a Civic but you can get an automatic CVT transmission with the SI motor in Integra, and I think that's one of the big selling features for the Tegi. Yeah, and if you want a hatchback, your only choice is the Integra. Because the Civic SI does not come in hatchback, but the Type R and the Sport Touring does. Yeah, so I think Honda did some like weird stuff where they had to almost make the SI worse in order to justify the existence of the Integra. But then looks-wise, is the Integra that much worse looking than the Civic? I think the Integra has better headlights, taillights, 
rear end and diffuser, but besides that, I think the Civic wins. I actually don't think it's a bad looking car at all. The only problem I have with it is that it looks exactly like the rest of the Acura lineup, which is kind of confusing. I don't think they differentiated it enough. Are you mad that it's not a two door or have you accepted the state of the world and who buys cars and what kind they buy? The people spending the money are the ones that are justifying the existence of that vehicle. So I cannot really comment on that because I'm not going to be the one that's buying a two door Integra anyways. Yeah, old cars exist. If you want an old Integra, they're pretty cheap. It's like 90,000 US dollars. And they've still left the door open to a Type S model. So maybe we will get some sort of Type R detuned or uptuned or automatic or something. I'm assuming it'll be a detuned Type R with an automatic only, and that'll be the Integra Type S. Yeah, leave your predictions in the comments below. So looks wise, which one would you take? I'd take the Civic. It's just subtle, nice, classy. I like it. I would take the Integra in white just because it is so rare, it's such a controversial car. I would love to see it driving around more often. I haven't seen any on the road yet. And then another big difference, which I think is the biggest selling feature of the Integra over everything else pretty much in the Acura lineup, is when we move inside, we have the exact same Civic interior. So the Civic touchscreen and not that true touchpad that all the other Acuras minus the NSX have. Yeah, it's a really good infotainment in both of these. No complaints at all. We do have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a pretty okay backup camera. I'm kind of surprised that the Integra doesn't have a 360 camera. I feel like that would help solidify that extra cost for it. Yeah, well they didn't because it's the same car. Remember, the, even a Sentra could come with a 360 camera. So then both of these cars have Sirius XM satellite radio, both rewind. If you want to get a free three month trial, hit up SiriusXM.ca or .com slash the straight pipes. And for all you F1 fans out there, Sirius XM is now going to be broadcasting races from start to finish on ESPN Extra Channel 81. Let's go Kimi Raikkonen. You're living in the past, dude. I like the past. Let's go Stroll and Latifi, the Canadian boys. One thing we forgot to mention during the looks is the wheels. And I actually like the ones on the Civic even more than the ones on the Integra. Yeah, the Integra wheels aren't as good as the ones on the Civic. So now the pedal boxes. Are both of these good for heel toe downshifting if you have rev match turned off? Uh, totally fine. I got nice aluminum pedals in the Civic. I got metal pedals in the Integra too. And then to turn off auto rev matching in both of these cars, we do need to come to a full stop and turn that off through the infotainment. So I think that's a major flaw between both of these. Yeah, it's actually terrible. Like just add it to the custom settings. It, it'd be so simple to do that for the drive modes. And with the auto rev match, when you shift up, if you're clutched in, the needle will stop at the perfect RPM to get into your next gear in both of these cars. And I do need to mention the rev hang in both of these cars. It is quite bad. <laughs> I guess that's life with emissions. Four door Integras and rev hang, no VTEC. And on the topic of shifting, these shift lights in the Canadian version of the Civic Si are fantastic. And I just saw that they're going to be in the Type R as well. But one thing that I'm missing in the Civic that you have in your Integra is you have a head up display. Yeah, oh, I just noticed that. That's pretty cool, luxury. Yeah, dude, luxury car. And I think all the fans in the States are gonna be missing heated seats and heated steering wheels in the Si. I think that's only a Canada thing. Yeah, because I have a heated steering wheel, heated seats in the front, and we even have heated seats in the back in the SI, as you do as well in your uh, sort of SI thing. Wild. Now moving into the interior back seat room, Jacob, how do you fit in both? Honestly, it's identical in both. Uh, my head touches the roof if I try and lean back. And at five foot eight, I'm good in the back of both. But then if we open the trunks, the trunk of the Civic is pretty good. There's a lot of room in there, and the load floor is a lot lower than the load floor in the Integra hatch. Yeah, the load floor and the distance, like the thickness of that part is just so annoying to load stuff into that. Definitely not as good as a Civic hatch. Civic hatch is still king. If they offered this in a hatch, it'd be amazing. A two-door hatch, right? <laughs> if they offered a, a Honda S2000, oh man, that'd be amazing. <laughs> they offer them. They're, uh, they cost less than a new Integra. <laughs> That's true, actually, still. I'm not stopping you from buying an S2000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Honda's not offering it. The used market is. And generally the interior is slightly more premium in that Acura, but honestly not much because this Civic is that good. Hey, we both have that kind of like grill pattern in the vent, except the Acura one is kind of cut off. Yeah, and they added more plastic, which the Civic one to me looks a little bit more luxurious. Uh, the one thing that is the most noticeable difference to me is the sound system. The sound system in that Integra is miles better than this one. Yeah, the ELS Studio 3D. I'm blasting my Beach Boys Endless Summer from SiriusXM on here all summer long, and it is fantastic. 
BPM is mind blowing in that car. But then these partly leather seats in the front, leather in the back, power adjustable and memory seats in the Integra, I think are a huge selling feature. Cause like if you shared the car with someone, the SI, having to manually adjust every time would get kind of annoying. Honestly, that is a big deal. And I do like that the Integra has that. So it does make sense. But these seats are actually more comfortable for me in the SI. I'm just more bolstered. So if I wanted to go through cliche corner more often, I would be more comfortable in these. But those are just more comfortable for like daily. -ing. I feel more comfortable in the Integra. Now, let's see if there's any differences with the visors. Ah, I don't think so. I hope not. Three, two, one. Yes. Full pass. Full pass. And our cup holders are the same and they fit small and mediums perfectly. And we both have dual exhaust from the exact same engine. Let's see if they sound any different from the outside. They both pretty much sound exactly the same. Second gear, ready? Ready. <laughs> Forgot I got a shift. faster shift. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> Yeah, I just jammed it right in there. <laughs> I was just pinging it off, but it's cool that the screen is actually your shift lights. And there's a very minor difference in performance between these because the Integra is a little bit heavier than the Civic. Not much. It's also wider and it's also longer. And for some reason, I still feel faster in it through cliche. It's those tires, man, those Contis. And I also kind of noticed that the steering wheel feels a little bit nicer in the Integra. Yeah, the actual steering wheel itself, because the feel is the same. Yes the steering wheel feels nicer. And another difference between these two, one says Honda on the engine cover and the other one has an Acura badge. Yeah, it looks like they put a little cap over it that you can't remove. Not an easy swap. It's not like a uh, BMW Supra thing. And both of these have really good radar cruise and lane centering, which is very nice. But since it's manual, you can't do the full stop and go slow speed stuff with it. And since it's been a while that we've driven this Civic Si, do you find the power to be adequate in both of these or do you want more? This is a good amount for normal people fast. I agree, it is really nice and I'm very excited for the new Type R. And then this Integra has like $2,000 worth of carbon fiber appearance package. So we've got the wing on the back and then we've got a black emblem on the front, which is pretty cool. And you can even get a full carbon package for about 4,500 Canadian dollars, which is just insane. I would not recommend spending that much money on a package like that for that car. Yeah, save your money. Wait till Wings West comes out with a really cool tuner body kit for this Integra. Maybe like a circle headlight conversion or something. Yes, yes. Just hit up eBay. I'm sure it already exists. I need more chicken wire, please. <laughs> this is fun and the wheels didn't even go, 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 go like the Hyundais do. Yeah, no difference. I think we both had the same amount of fun. <laughs> so with everything out of the way, I think it's time we get to the price. This Civic is $33,750. Canadian. And that Integra is $42,550 plus the carbon package and the black emblem kit. Look, I get that it's a lot more money, but for the little things that add up, like having the really good sound system, having the heated seats, having the heated steering wheel, having the memory seats in electric and lumbar, I can see why somebody would make this jump. They want a Civic style car, but they just need more out of it. Hey, those are definitely differences, but I would value those at maybe uh, three to $5,000, not like nearly $10,000. But then this car is kind of weird because it kind of competes with Mazda, but then also a little bit with like Audi and BMW and Mercedes, where the Civic competes with like GTIs and stuff like that. They're like, it's a weird middle ground. Yeah, if they didn't share the exact same powertrain, then we probably wouldn't be actually comparing these at all. But they do, and that's our take on it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Are you gonna spend the extra money on the Integra, or are you gonna save some money and take the Civic Si? And before Yuri cops out, I'm gonna take the Civic. That is my choice, and that is the one I would recommend between these. Yuri, let me know, don't cop out. You know I'm an Acura fanboy. I love the NSX, I love this Integra. I would definitely pick this over it. Maybe even go get it and wrap it in yellow. I know how much you love the TLX Type S. I did like the TLX Type S. I didn't like the TLX A-Spec. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this and the NSX have the perfect Acura infotainments. How could I not like it? All right, uh, with that crazy wording out of the way and justification, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, patreon.com slash straight pipes to see early videos. Yo, bring back our old outro, come on. You didn't do the thing. <laughs>